Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Episode 23. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. Ni hao ma Crystal? Fei chang hao, ni na? Wo ye fei chang hao. Hai bang la. Okay, we're talking about, uh, well, we're continuing on from last time in this episode because we're going to be focusing on a little more to do with medical problems, mm-hmm. things that may happen when we're visiting China and or indeed any other Chinese speaking place. And we're going to be reviewing some of the things that we learned in the previous lesson and yep. taking that a little further. Hopefully, I should say, none of these things will happen while you're traveling in a Chinese speaking place. Hopefully not. But, well, the fact is sometimes these things can happen. So it's always better being prepared. Indeed. So let's get straight on with the show. 准备好了吗? 好了,开始吧。开始吧。Okay, to begin with, we are going to review some of the parts of the body that we learned last time. So perhaps, Crystal, you could, you could test me on those parts of the body. Okay. Toe. Um, now, are you asking how to say the, the English word toe in Yeah, I'm in asking Chinese? what is toe in English. In English. So I think you're talking about toe meaning head. Correct. Okay. How, how about 肚子? Oh, that is definitely stomach. Uh-huh. Very okay, good. Something to do with yeah, uh-huh. your stomach. 喉咙. Um, I, I'm going to let you into a secret here. Um, I know that this is throat. But I want to imagine, I always think about this word as, as I'm talking to a giraffe and asking, how long is your throat? Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> how long? Interesting way, yeah, okay. very good. Uh-huh. Any other parts of the body that we, that we covered? Um, bei. Bei, I think, mm-hmm. is back. That's right. How about erdo? Um, okay, I'm going to get mixed up here. I think that is I. Ears. Ears. Oh, okay. Okay. So, er. What, what are the tones there? Er. Er. Do. Do. Er. Do. I suppose it sounds like ears. Er. Do. And then, so what are eyes again? Yan jing. Yan jing. Okay. Um, maybe one or two more. Zui mm-hmm. ba. I think that's your mouth. Do. Okay, and let's do let's do arms and legs. So, what's okay. arms again? Gepo. Gepo. Mm-hmm. Okay, and leg. Tui. Tui. We've definitely got a third toe in there. Tui. Uh-huh. Okay. Now we may have different things wrong with us. We we talked last time also about um, perhaps conditions rather than, than parts of the body as such. So we, we mentioned the idea of having a cold. Mm-hmm. What would that be? Gan mao. Gan mao. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we also talked about fever. Fa shao. Fa shao to first tones, yeah? Yes. And then the one that we don't really want how we're traveling. <laughs> La du zi. Yep. La dudze. Uh-huh. So we've got the stomach in there, dudze. Uh, but la, sorry, la dudze. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's diarrhea. Okay. Now, if we do end up with something not going quite right with our bodies while we're traveling, then the fact is we probably do need to find a pharmacy. And we mm. have learned the word for a pharmacy before. Can you remind us what a pharmacy is? Yao dian. Yao Tian. Now, splitting that up, the Tian part is the, the same thing that we've heard of, or Fan Tian, fan tian and so uh-huh. on. So the Tian part means exactly shop. shop. Mm-hmm. So would Yao be medicine in some way? Exactly. Okay. Uh-huh. So Yao Tian, a medicine shop. Dui. So if I want to ask where is the pharmacy, could I simply say Yao Tian Zai Nar? And how do we say, uh, is there a pharmacy near here? Yeah, Nia is Fu Jing. Fu Jing. So you can say, Zhe Fu Jing, near here, you yao dian ma? Is there a pharmacy? Yes. Or do you have a pharmacy or something like that? So Yo. translation, Zhe Fu Jing, near here, a pharmacy ma? Ma is a question. Yep. Yeah. Has okay. a pharmacy ma? Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, is there a pharmacy near here? Zhe Fu Jing, you 
要见吗？对对，这附近有要见吗 ？Fantastic. Okay, so we we found the pharmacy.、Uh-huh. We found the pharmacy, and this I suppose could be a Chinese pharmacy, or it could be a pharmacy selling both Chinese or Western medicines. In most cases, it's both. Okay,、mm-hmm. um, just reminders of、uh, how we would talk about、uh, traditional Chinese medicines. 中药，中药。Mm-hmm. So that's Zhong as in Zhong Guo, right?、Uh, so Chinese medicine, Zhong Yao, 对对对 And what would the opposite of that be? The the Western medicines. That would be Xi Yao. What does the Xi stand for? West or okay, Western? Okay, of course. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So Xi Yao, Western medicines, as opposed to Zhong Yao. Right. Okay. Right. Well, let's imagine we're in the pharmacy and we want to ask. For example, do you have something for、mm-hmm. a cold?、Mm-hmm. And the cold was gan mao. So how do we form that sentence? Do you have something for、mm-hmm. a cold?、Mm-hmm. It's very easy. So the structure is, 请问 please ask, 有 cold medicine 吗 So you can say, 请问有感冒药吗 Right, so that, that's really straightforward.、Mm-hmm. Um, yo, meaning do you have? Yeah. And then the the the, the condition, condition、yeah. medicine question. That's right. So, 请问有感冒药吗？对。So, do you have、uh, something for a cold?、Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to try asking. Do you have something for a fever?、Mm-hmm. And fever was 发烧。发烧。First tones each time. Yeah. Yeah. 请问。有发烧药吗？非常好。Okay, what were some of the other things that we we covered last time? We learned a、uh, 晒伤 sunburn. Sunburn, yes.、Yeah. So 晒伤 that's a that's a fourth and a first tone. That's right. 晒伤、uh-huh. Okay, so could we say 请问有晒伤药吗？非常好。Uh huh. Okay, and what about、um, an insect bite? Well, let's take bite first. Bite is 咬咬,咬 meaning to bite something,、okay. and then we add 伤伤 is the wound. Okay. So the wound of being bitten by something.、Mm-hmm. So 咬伤药 meaning a pharmacy or、bite、medicine、medicines. for bite. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. 咬伤药 Uh huh. So、um, do we need to specify an insect there? I think it helps for, yeah, for the pharmacist suppose, to judge、yeah. which you know cream to give to you.、Indeed. So if you want to say insect bite, insect is 虫虫 So you'd say 虫咬伤药虫 Is that second tone? 虫、yeah. 虫咬伤药对 Right. So an insect bite. 虫咬伤药对 If it were a dog bite, uh huh. Can you say dog? I don't think we've done dog. What's a dog? It's go, go. That that does ring a bell. I mean, I may have been thinking of the year of the dog or something like That's that. Right. So、uh-huh. go. So could I say go? Yao shang, yao. Yao. So dog bite medicine. That's right. That's right. Uh huh. And what about snake bite? She, she, she. Yao shang yao. Right. So snake bite medicine—it、uh-huh. probably sounds like some kind of potion or something. I don't know. Okay, so we've got all of these different types of bites.、Mm-hmm. I guess if we are walking along the Great Wall, trekking through China, we may indeed get some insect bites or, or something like that. But there's something else that comes to mind that would probably be even more common, and that would be a blister. 起泡，起泡。Mm-hmm. Okay, so could I ask for a blister medicine? Xing、uh, Wen, Yao. Mm-hmm. Very good.、Okay. They'll definitely get you the right medicine. Okay, for for my blisters.、Uh-huh. Um, and、uh, there's one other thing that, that springs to mind if we're carrying a a heavy rucksack on the on our back and it's it's very warm. Perhaps we would end up with a rash. Yeah, 疹子。疹子。Mm-hmm. Okay, so once again, would we say, 请问有疹子药吗？对。Okay, do you have something for a rash?、Mm-hmm. Okay. I have often been in the situation where I'm visiting a pharmacy on on a holiday or while I'm traveling, but I'm not asking for myself.、Mm. I might be asking for my son on, or my wife or, or something like that. So,、um, let me see. How would we say、um, my let's say my son has a rash? Could I just say, "What are 
zi. Mm-hmm. Yao zhen zi. Yeah, that's understandable. Mm-hmm. But uh, we say it, 我的儿子发疹子了。发 meaning something coming out of the skin. Right, so yeah. 发 um, So is the 发 part the verb? Yes. Or do you have to have a yo in there as well? Mm, no, okay. far replace it, yo. Right, okay, I get that. So, 我的儿子发卷子 Le. And the le there is describing the situation as That's it's right. now happened. That's right. Okay, yeah. right. It's quite tricky to understand that le. Mm. Um, so, 我的儿子发卷子了 Just pay attention to your tones. Oh dear, okay. 儿子 <laughs> Oh, so it's second, uh, second tone and, and neutral, neutral tone. Ards. Oh, I think it was, I don't know what I was doing there. I was probably saying something completely different. Um, <laughs> 我的儿子发疹子了。非常好。Uh, Can you see the whole sentence? 我的儿子发疹子了。Okay. 我的儿子发疹子了。Okay, that seems okay. Right, okay, so your son has a rush, you say, or earth fa zilla. How do you say my friend has some burn? Okay, right, my friend would be what a peng yo. I don't think I've got the right tone there. Peng yo. Peng yo, okay. What a peng yo. Um, fa shai shang la. <laughs> fa, in this case, it means something coming out of your skin. Okay. But Sunburn is not all of us getting it. You are burned by the sun. Okay. So it's passive, isn't it? Right. And yeah. we use bei. Bei. To represent passive. Okay. So I'm going to think about this as uh, I am burned bei the sun. Bei. I'm burned bei the sun. So I'll say, uh, could I say, wo bei shai shang le? Perfect. So turning this around, my friend, wo de peng yo. Let's come back to the, the bites and so on. Um, do we use bei with bites because we're bitten by something? Mm-hmm. So um, how, how would we say that um, my friend has an insect bite, for example? Yeah, so, Okay, right. All of this makes sense, but one thing I want to double check is which ones we use bei for when something happens to us uh-huh. and which ones we would use fa for. Yeah, fa is something coming inter- from internal to outside. Okay. For example, you're having a fever, mm-hmm. fa shao le, uh, or fa zheng zi le, having a, a rush. A rush, right? yep. But if you were bitten from external to in- mm-hmm. internal, use bei to bei. mean passive. You are burned by the sun, or you are bitten by insect. That makes sense. So, for example, if we were saying my mother has a cold, mm. can you give us that? In this case, we don't use fa or bei either. Okay. We use gan mao. Gan is to feel. Okay. You know, gan all together means yeah, having a cold. Having cold. Yeah, I mean, you're feeling cold. And the, the fever? Fa shao. All right, so the fa is in there already. Yes, shao means heat. Yep. So heat coming, coming out of your out. body. Yeah. yeah. Um, without going into too much detail, what happens with diarrhea? <laughs> La du zi. So it's a, it's a verb in there already? La. La. So what the mama? La du zi. Dui. La. La, ha, ha, uh-huh. very good. Uh-huh. Last time we mentioned about do the stomach, yeah? Mm-hmm. La literally means to pull out. All right, okay. To pull yeah. out. I think it's time for a break. That's right. Okay, we'll be back soon with more Coffee Break Chinese. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com.
Okay, welcome back. During the break, we were talking there about blisters and uh, I was asking Crystal about how you would say my mother has a blister. And so that, that phrase would be? 我妈妈起泡了. Okay, so qi pao, the, the qi is the, the verb part there. Yes. Um, but you also said that we could say my feet or my foot has a blister. So using the same construction, that would be 我的脚起泡了. It makes more sense to say that because you see, my mum has blistered. Where? Where, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We wouldn't really want to go into that, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we've we've talked about lots of situations, lots of symptoms. But we don't yet know how to deal with the, the things that the pharmacist may ask us. Mm. So let's think about that now. Uh, one of the first things that the pharmacist is likely to ask is, how long have you had whatever it mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. you, you're talking about? Mm-hmm. Okay, can you split that up and it's talk about that? Chang is how long or mm-hmm. how many. Shijian is time. So how long time la has been. Yeah. Okay. So the la there is the is the the, the situation, situation has been lasting. Okay. Yeah. So duo chang shi jian le. le. Mm-hmm. Okay. How long have you had it? Duo chang shi jian le. Or if you want to say how many days have you had it, you just say duo shao tian le. Okay. Uh, duo shao. Uh, what's the the tone there? Shao neutral tone. Okay. Duo shao tian tian le. le. How many uh, days? It, it's tricky there because it reminds me of uh, 多少天, Exactly the same. Mm. Third 前, tone. 前 second tone. Second, okay. 多少天, as opposed to 多少天, So 天 with a T there as opposed to the 10 with a Q. Yeah, okay, I'm and getting there. And is flat tone or first tone. First tone. 前 is second tone. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, what would I answer there if I I've, I've said that for, for two ex- days? 两天了. 两天了. Mm-hmm. And the le again is an answer to. Yeah, meaning this has been lasting for two days already. Okay, so mm-hmm. 两天了. Okay, so we've established how long we've had it. Mm-hmm. I guess the next thing is that the pharmacist is likely to recommend something. And I suppose there are, there's a limited number of things that the, the pharmacist could be talking about. I'm thinking uh, pills or cream, thing, things like that. So yeah. can, you, can you give us what a pill would be? Yao wan. So that, that yao, there's the medicine. medicine. Wan is small pieces, like okay. a ball kind of size, you know, pills. Yeah. So yao wan. Yao wan. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, what about um, like a tablet, something that is... Yeah, maybe tablet little, is like flat and square, mm-hmm. isn't it? Or round could be. Yao pian. Yao pian. Yeah, pian means something flat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and if it, if we were talking about a rash or something, perhaps it would be a cream. Yeah, cream. Yao gao. Yao gao. Mm-hmm. What's gao? Gao is cream. Okay. Yeah, medicine cream. Medicine cream as opposed uh-huh. to in your coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I suppose the other thing that may be useful would be a lotion. Yeah, lotion is just not as thick as a cream. Yeah. yeah. So we use shui, water. Yao shui, yeah. So medicine water. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yao shui. Mm-hmm. Yao shui. Okay. So four things. Let's go through them again. A pill. Yao wan. Yao wan. A tablet. Yao pian. Yao pian. A cream. Yao gao. Yao gao. And I'm going to guess that a lotion was yao shui. Wei chang hao. Okay, good stuff. So the, the situation may be that we're told to, I don't know, take two pills mm-hmm. uh, three times a day. Mm-hmm. How, how would we say that? You say, first of all, you say each time two pills. Okay. Yeah. Each, each means yi ci. Yi ci. And to take, chi meaning to eat. To eat, yeah. Liang li. So, two pieces. Two so. pieces. Mm-hmm. Okay, so and put the whole of that together. Yi ci chi liang li. Right. Now, obviously, in this situation, we're really focusing on the understanding because unless we're getting a job as a pharmacist in, in China, we don't really need to know how to say this, but we definitely need to know how to understand it. So take two pills and then you're saying this each time we have uh-huh. to... To have the the each time. So the whole thing again. 一次吃 
两粒。一次车两粒。嗯哼。So take two pills. So um and the, there. The li here is the measure word for the pills. Ah, so the li is just the measure word. So could could we also add an ya wan? Yes. So give us the whole sentence、okay. this time with the the word for pills. Okay. 一次吃两粒药丸 So each time eat two measure word pills. Yes. Right, but of course we don't need to say the pills because if they're giving the pills over, then we know that that's what we're、right. talking. So take two of these each time. Hmm. Uh, 一次吃两粒 Hmm. And then we could add in 药丸 Yes. Right. Now, I wonder because the measure word uh is li、uh-huh. for. Pills,、uh-huh. which are round.、Uh-huh. Um, you said earlier that pen、uh-huh. is a flat thing, and that's、yeah. also a measure word. We've seen that、yeah. as a measure、yeah. word before.、Yeah. So, does the measure word change if it's、uh, a tablet that we've to take? Yeah. Let's hear. Take、uh, one tablet each time. 一次吃一片药片 Right. Okay. 一次吃一片 Uh, 药片对 right, and again we can drop the 药片嗯 so take two of these, and this time we're talking about the tablets. In this、嗯、case, therefore, a different measure word. 一次吃一片 take two of these, or take one of these rather、嗯、each time. Um, right, so we're we're looking at pills there, um, and tablets. What about the whole idea of three times a day? 一天吃三次 but you can leave out the 吃 Simply say, 一天三次 So 一天 what's the 天 there? 天 is day. Day. So each day, three times. 三次 three times.、Mm-hmm. Okay, this is interesting because we've got this 次 and it's a new word for us. But in the first part of the sentence, you said 一次 so each time, uh, two pieces. But now you're saying each day. One time,、mm-hmm. or three times rather,、mm-hmm. with sansa.、Mm-hmm. So it's also interesting because our tone changes with e again,、mm-hmm. <laughs> but we've we've seen that before.、Mm-hmm. So let's hear the whole sentence. Take two pills each time, three times a day. 一次吃两粒，一天三次。Okay, 一次吃两粒，一天三次。非常好。Right. Give us another one, perhaps more complicated than this, and we'll see if we can work out what we've got to do with the the tablets. Okay. Um, 一次吃一片，一天四次 Can we hear that again? 一次吃一片，一天四次 I think what you're saying there is、um, we have to take one tablet four times a day. Yeah. Okay. Right.、Um, so much for pills and tablets. We don't take creams and lotions, though. We we put them on.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess we apply them.、Mm-hmm. And something that perhaps is quite common in this situation is if you're told to put the cream on before you go to bed.、Mm-hmm. So you say before bed first.、Mm-hmm. 睡前睡 sleep.、Uh-huh. 前 is before. Okay. So 睡前 before bed.、Mm-hmm. 涂药膏 to is apply to apply. Okay. 药膏 cream. 睡前涂药膏非常好 So before bed, put on the cream.、Um, and what about in the morning?、Uh, put on the lotion. No. 早上 in the morning.、Mm-hmm. 涂药水 Okay. 早上涂药水非常好。Okay, this has all been really quite tricky stuff, and and we've we've covered quite a lot in this lesson. There is one more area that I would like to cover, and we've also got a conversation, but the conversation is going to go into our bonus lesson、mm-hmm. this week、um, because we've not got time to include the conversation. The one other thing when we are being given instructions by a pharmacist is sometimes. That we must or we must not do、mm. certain things. For example, we must not、um, smoke, or we must not,、uh, or we must rest, and things like that.、Mm-hmm. So, can you tell us about that?、Christine? Must, 必须必须、mm-hmm. Okay, so put that into a context. 你必须休息
So what would be 休息? Rest. 休息. Okay, uh-huh. let's hear that again. 你必须休息. 你必须休息. You must rest. You must rest. Okay. And what about we must not do something? For example, we must not drink alcohol. Yeah. 不可以. Uh, no, that's that's like you cannot. Yeah, exactly. 可以 is can. So 不可以, you can. cannot. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you must not drink alcohol. 你不可以喝酒. 喝, meaning to drink. To drink and alcohol. Joe, any kind of alcohol. 你不可以喝酒. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else that we might be told not to do? Uh, smoke. Okay. 你不可以抽烟. 抽烟. So is that to smoke? Yeah, 抽 is the verb to mm-hmm. smoke a cigarette. Yen. Okay. 你不可以抽烟. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe you must not be in the sun or something like that. Mm-hmm. 你不可以晒太阳. Okay. 你 不可以晒太阳. Mm. You must not be in the sun. Okay, we have covered lots and lots in this lesson. Hopefully it's been useful for you. Once again, we hope that you don't have to use these phrases. <laughs> but we will be putting all of this into practice in our bonus lesson. Okay. And that bonus lesson is part of our bonus materials for Coffee Break Chinese. So you can find out all about them at coffeebreakchinese.com. The bonus materials include additional audio materials. There are the lesson notes and, of course, the video version of our main lesson where you'll see the Chinese characters and the pinyin all on the screen. And that will help you read the Chinese as well as understand the the spoken word as we've been covering in this audio show. Yeah, that's very helpful. Don't forget you can join us on Facebook to practice your Chinese and join a growing worldwide community of learners. Just search for Coffee Break Chinese on Facebook. And something else we'd like to remind you about is the fact that we are now posting some behind-the-scenes footage on Instagram. So that's Coffee Break Languages on Instagram, where you can come behind the scenes with the Coffee Break team and find out how we put all this content together and get to know us a little better too. So that's Coffee Break Languages on Instagram. That's it for this episode of Coffee Break Chinese. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back soon. 再见! 再见! You have been listening to a production of the Copy Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>